index laws four and five, powers of products and fractions. Just remember, a product is when we multiply two numbers or a number and a letter together. So this is the product of two and x, two times x. A fraction, of course, we know. So this is, in brackets, a product to a power. This is a fraction, in brackets, to a power. And index laws 4 and 5 are about removing these brackets and there is a set of laws to follow. Always when we learn index laws, we can do them the long way round by expanding and then we can find out what the shortcut is. So 2x cubed. Cubed means I'm going to multiply what I'm cubing by itself three times. This is 2x times 2x times 2x. And 2x means 2 times x, so it's actually 2 times x times 2 times x times 2 times x. Multiplication is allowed to be rearranged, so this is actually 2 times 2 times 2 times x times x times x. And if we put this back into index form, 2 times 2 times 2 is 2 cubed times x times x times x, x cubed. So actually, we have cubed this part of the product and we've cubed this part of the product. And if we wanted to simplify that even more, 2 cubed, 2 times 2 times 2, we can do that two different ways. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, or we can use the power button. 2 to the power 3, also 8. When I've got a number and letters in my final index laws answer, it's often best to get the number out the front just as a whole number. So this is 2 cubed times x to the power 3. 2 cubed is 8. We don't need the times sign now. 8x cubed. But this is showing us that this product, this multiplication in a bracket raised to a power, is each part separately to that power. We can do the same with a fraction. We can expand it to find out what the shortcut is. x over 3 squared means x over 3 times x over 3. And when we're multiplying fractions, we do the top numbers multiplied together and the bottom numbers multiplied together. We remember that from year 7. Multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators and you'll see x times x is x squared. 3 times 3 is 3 squared. So this fraction to a power, I can just do the top raised to that power and the bottom raised to that power. And of course, when I've got letters and numbers involved, in index laws, I'll leave my letters in, num in index form and I'll make my numbers a whole number answer. 3 squared is 3 times 3, which is 9. But this is showing us how the rule works, how the shortcut works. So if I've got brackets to a power, everything in the brackets gets separately raised to that power. So when I've got a product, multiplication, or a fraction, division, in brackets, and the whole thing is to a power, my rule is raise each number or letter in the brackets to that power.
For example, expand using index laws. In brackets, 6 over b cubed. This will be 6 cubed on the top over b cubed on the bottom. So this part cubed and this part cubed. When I've got numbers and letters to powers, it is best to evaluate, get the number answer for the numbers 6 to the power 3, 216, and I leave the letter as a power because there's nothing I can do with that. I can't evaluate it. This evaluating the number part and leaving the letter part is only done when I've got numbers and letters to powers in my answer. When I give you questions saying, so just going to hop over here. If I'd said, um, simplify leaving in index form and I had 3 squared times 3 cubed. If I'd said simplify leaving in index form, that's index law 1, base of 3, add the powers, that's 5. That's only a number to a power and so if they'd said to simplify and leave it in index form, I would leave it like that. If they'd said to evaluate, I would get a number answer. When there's both letters and numbers to powers in our answer, then we would evaluate our number power and leave our letter power as a letter power. I know it's a bit tricky. So this one, index law 4 says I've got a product to a power. I'm going to do both parts to the power. This is 2 times y all cubed. I'm going to do 2 cubed times, because there's an invisible times sign in there, times y cubed. And then I'm going to use the rule that when there's letters and numbers in my index laws answer, I will evaluate the number part. 2 cubed is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. Be very careful. I don't need the time sign now. 8y cubed. Next one. This is actually combining those. I've got a fraction and I've got a product down here. Anytime you've got a negative to a power, you will have to keep that negative in brackets. So this is negative 3 cubed because negative 3 on the top, cubed. And then I've got to do, now it might help you if we wrote the whole thing at the bottom in brackets as well, x squared y cubed, because now I've got to do some expanding. Negative 3 cubed. Numbers get evaluated, and if I'm evaluating a negative power, I must use brackets and the negative sign, negative 3 to the power 3, negative 27. Anytime you're raising a negative to a power, you must put it in brackets in your calculator. Over. Now we use the product rule. x squared to the power 3 that's combining this with law 3. Remember law 3? Anything to a power, we multiply the powers like that. So this will be x squared cubed, which is x6, and y cubed, that's y to the power 1 when there's no power, 1 times 3 is 3 over y3. So a bit of a complicated one there, combining three different index laws. This one is squaring what's in the brackets and this multiplied by negative 2, remember, 
number in front of brackets, there's an invisible time sign, isn't involved because it's not in the brackets. Negative 2 times 3 squared times, because invisible times sign, x squared, because all these different parts need to be squared, times y squared. Negative 2 times 3 squared. The number part gets evaluated. Negative 2 times 3 squared. Negative 18. Don't need the time signs. x squared, y squared. Getting a bit complicated on this. These are nice easy ones. These are harder ones. And the last question, expand this, then evaluate. Fraction to a power means the top cubed over the bottom cubed. This will be 1 cubed over 3 cubed. Evaluate says we want our number answer. 1 cubed is 1 times 1 times 1, which is 1. 3 cubed is 27. You could use your calculator there if you needed to. 3 cubed, definitely 27. And evaluate, I've got a number or a fraction answer.